Shalom brothers and sisters in Messiah Yeshua This is um, a video just to bring us all into remembrance of a few things Because I think it's necessary that we are brought back to the foundation of our faith And our foundation is that Yeshua Messiah is the son of David Now why is that important for us? Yeshua Messiah being the son of David as Matthew 1 verse 1 tells us is because if he's the son of David then that means he is king he's the king and if he is the king then we have to believe that as his disciples we have a king we follow the king and his kingdom is within us but also it is to come. We have to rem remember this brothers and sisters. Because right now. There is so much turmoil. There is so much distraction. And calamity. And confusion. And things which are. Before us, 24 hours of the day on the internet, on our, this rolling news to, to kind of infiltrate our minds, to indoctrinate us, to pull us in to this system of the world, to make us choose between the left or the right. The conservatives or labor, the Republicans or the Democrats, the this or the that, constant. And we can be deceived into falling into that trap. We can be deceived into falling into that trap, thinking that we should add our voice to the mess we should subscribe to the narrative which is being perpetuated and pushed. But that's not what Yeshua did. That's not what John the Baptist did. Nor the apostles, nor the prophets. See, all of the people, the saints of the Most High, recognize that we have a king. And if we have a king... That we are to serve him. We are to worship him and him alone. And as such, we're not to join and invest our life into a system that he did not create. We don't need to do that. Because if we do that, then what we have allowed is we have allowed our authority to be diminished. See, I'm only Marcus in a natural realm. You know, I'm only I'm only Marcus in a natural realm. I'm just like any other person in a natural realm. But in the spirit realm, I'm an emissary of the king. In the spirit realm, there is a power and authority attached to Marcus which my physical eyes may not see, but by faith it manifests. And it's the same to you. It's the same to you unless, unless you relinquish your authority by trying to wade influence in a system your father in heaven did not design. Brothers and sisters, if we truly consider the scripture, truly consider it, you are a world changer. How are you a world changer? You're a world changer because you are commissioned to disciple the nations, to teach them. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 6 that 
the glory of the Father is placed upon the people, the saints of the Most High. But it also says that Gentiles and kings shall be drawn unto them. In the natural realm, is Queen Elizabeth going to come to your house and be drawn unto you? I don't think so. Not in the natural realm. But when it comes down to the spirit realm, if you are an ambassador of the king, that's exactly what's going to happen. Whether it be today, a year, 10 years, who knows? But Father's word is sure. And my encouragement to you is to not relinquish your authority by by sowing your life, your energy and your focus into the systems of the world. All it's going to do is. The Bible says. That we are born again. Not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible seed by the word. You are born again by the word. And if you receive him, then you become sons of God. Don't receive the word of the world. Don't receive the, 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 the doomsday forecasts of the world. Everything that Father is doing in the earth right now is in order to bring to pass his word. So the best place for you to be is to stand on the rock not on all of this stuff which is going on i hope that's a timely word for you i hope it's an encouragement for you remember father is with you always i'm looking forward to seeing if i if there are any comments any any words from you in the comments section Please remember to share this message, like, subscribe, follow, etc, etc. Shalom.